This morning we are going to quickly do how to get the current date or time um, and just a really uh, quick answer to this for those of you who are just in a hurry to get the answer. There's one way and here's another way. Oops, sorry. That's the other program. And you can see really quickly that there's the, um, the date and the time. Uh, if you were just looking for, let's suppose, the date of the date, I'm going to use get date instead. That's another way that you can do it, but I'm just going to use get date. You can select, uh, cast it as a date, and you just get the date version. If you have a table, let's create a table, uh, date, and let's say we have a, a D and date, and let's suppose you insert into select to get date just in case you're like well I don't want all the the time and stuff you'll see that it will only select um, it will only select the date part not the time part okay um, this right here is very useful I use this a lot I'll give you uh, an example in fact using not this database but another database um, select star from Actually, I don't want to do star. Um, select top one star. Let's see, 10,000 star. It's a huge table, so I don't want to select all of the values from bitcoin.dbo. Uh, here we go. And what you will see, uh, this has the, uh, the timestamp, of course, but one of the things is let's suppose I was going to go through this entire table. <clears throat> And I wanted to organize it by date. Um, so there might be, I, I don't know off the top of my head, but there might be like, there's probably a thousand or more values um, in that table per day. So if I want to get the average Bitcoin price per day, and I, for those of you who don't know about Bitcoin, it never closes. It's not like a stock. So um, if I wanted to get the average price, what I would need to do is I would need to cast um, the date, the date as a date time, or I'm sorry, um, how I do it is I group by and I cast date as a get date. So what I'm just looking at is the overall date, scrap the time, and I group by that date. And so it's going to take, um, what is it, the query, the exact query I believe is select, distinct, cast, um, whatever that timestamp column was, you know, timestamp as date, um, and then the average price from that table, group by cast timestamp column as date. So that's just kind of an example of how I do that. But those are really quick ways that you can um, get the, the current date and then cast it as just a date field instead of a time field. But make no mistake, timestamp, the actual time with the date is, is very useful, especially if you're, like with stock data, you're getting each stock update, each stock tick. I do that a lot as well. Um, so don't think that the time is unimportant, but when you're just trying to get the, let's say, the average value for the day, um, that's where casting is going to work really well.